Welcome, guys, to another live episode. So today's episode, we're going to be troubleshooting the problem. So um, recently, I've been getting uh, what you call the word. What is the word I'm looking for here? We've getting text messages, and also we're getting emails regarding um, Air AI. So Air AI, you guys know Air AI is basically the software that, as you guys noticed, I demoed it a little earlier, about a few weeks ago. And a few people basically, I mean, a lot of people loved it because of the concept of you had the concept of you had an AI auto dialer, you had an automated assistant that could basically go ahead and do everything that you wanted it to do for you. You had an AI assistant that could basically co call to help you book appointments. You had an AI assistant that could help you generate leads. You had an AI assistant that could literally, you could literally have it help you just go ahead and. Uh, the use case is, is insane. You could have it basically order you Domino's pizza. You could have it literally order you Domino's pizza. So recently, we basically, um, I got a, I got a, let me see if I could pull here. But recently, I had a, uh, what is this, what is this word called? I had someone basically reach out to me via Instagram, and uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he was like, uh, the message goes, he says, hey, Emmanuel, I recently saw your video on YouTube, testing AI assistant using um, AIR. And uh, I went ahead and created a login to try to use it for my business. He's in real estate. I know it's in it's in the beta stage. Can you share any insight that you may have when launching a campaign? I put a test campaign and it doesn't seem to be making any DAOs. So what he's referring to here, guys, let me just go ahead and share my screen real quick. Uh, what he's referring to here, guys, is he's referring to this part of AI where when you go ahead and go into uh, you pretty much uh, you want to launch a campaign, which means you want the assistant to basically go ahead and call the leads for you and basically use the leads to um, when the assistant to basically call, call your leads for you to basically go ahead and book appointments. So as you guys notice here, so at first he was having issues with having this AI assistant actually um, book a call. He was having issues with basically having AI assistant, um, you know, basically get someone on the phone. Mine has currently been working. There's been a few tweaks here. As you can see here, I don't have too much of a huge list here, but I turned off this campaign. And you see out of this, this uh, I only have three leads in this system here on this campaign that I was uh, experiment I was doing, but I was able to get it to start dialing. But there's a lot of people that are having issues with actually getting the system to actually dial. So I went ahead and reached out to, um, I went ahead and reached out to the AI support team. And this is basically, you know, what I got back from the AI support team here where they were like, hey, Okay, because of demand, uh, we've had many users deal with this uh, basically for the past few days. They've had a lot of people who basically have been having the same issues. Um, basically, he made a tutorial, which we're going to watch a tutorial together. And this tutorial is going to be a quick fix if you haven't tried. So the first thing they recommend is as simple as it sounds, double check and make sure your campaign is turned on, obviously. If the campaign is an outbound campaign, make sure you have a list attached to it. So what he means by a list attached to it is... When you click on your campaign, when you come up here and you click on your campaign, whatever your campaign is, it's going to ask you right here, what type you're doing, you outbound or inbound? Inbound, it just gives you a phone number that people can call into your AI assistant, and your AI assistant can take the call. The outbound, basically, the AI assistant actually goes ahead and call for you. So the way the system works is you basically go ahead and choose a, uh, the agent, which I created an agent, and you can go ahead and choose the list. The list is just go ahead and upload the contacts in there. How you basically create a list, if you wanted to create a list, you can come up, I, I'm not going to go back into contacts just for the uh, the portion of, I don't want to reveal too much information there, but it's just pretty explanatory. You get an Excel, Excel, Excel sheet uh, or Google sheet, and you just go ahead and put in the variables in there, and then you upload it into the, um, the campaign, um, the campaign there. Okay, so. Basically, once you have everything, pretty much you've tested your list, you make sure you have a good list. Uh, you come back in here. If you're doing a, if you're doing anything that's like in the advanced model where you're basically going ahead and you're going ahead and creating your own uh, knowledge base per se, where you're pretty much for the most part, um, you know, putting in custom variables, then you are going to want to pretty much use, make sure that you're either using the knowledge base, prospect name, and calendar availabilities. What does that mean? That basically to, to put it full full circle for you to understand it is the um the chat but the, the AI assistant, which is the call bot, is not able to accept any other variables. So the only variables that it can accept at this current time is the variables of you can accept the knowledge base variable. It can accept the prospect name variable, and it can accept basically the calendar availability. These are the only variables you can accept, and you need to put it in this exact same format. If you're doing the advanced, and this is something you want to pay attention to, if you're using a standard, that's completely fine. Now, where you would put this is you would put this basically when you're creating your chatbot, when you come up here, when you're creating your chatbot right here, this chatbot that was created nine days ago, what you want to do right here in the script here, you can go ahead and put in 
um, custom variables, right? So the custom variables, let's say I wanted it to um, have a custom variable. Obviously, this is just a test here. But let's say I wanted it to have a custom variable of um, calendar availability. So I could just come up here and curly brackets, uh, so small, calendar availabilities, availability. It'd be nice if I could spell. Um, curly brackets, right? I probably spelled that wrong. But you basically want to pretty much... Um, Let's get this here. My screen is kind of going crazy on me. But you basically want to go ahead and pretty much set it up something like this. So calendar availabilities, right? Calendar availabilities based off of the spelling. I could have just copied and pasted the email right there. And then that's pretty much it. You put this in your new script. And when you're done, you go ahead and click save. When you click save, now once the product's prospect response, it's going to go ahead and give it the calendar availability. So that's something you can go ahead and try. But if your campaign still is not working, now we're going to go ahead now. What I want you to do is we're going to go ahead now and we're going to go ahead and watch this video that was sent to me by a, the co-founder of AI. And we're going to get, take a listen. All right. So this video is going to be breaking down what to do if your campaign is not spinning or it is currently going silent. So maybe you turn on a campaign and it isn't spinning at all, uh, or you have a large budget and it's only spinning a small amount of the budget, or you're calling into an inbound number and the AI is not currently talking to you. If any of these issues sound similar to the one you're dealing with, then this video should give you an idea of the action steps you can take to get your campaign up and moving as quickly as possible. Now, firstly, please do note, that most likely the reason that your campaign is not spending or is going silent is because of some, uh, severe demand on the air platform. Now this should be resolved in a handful of days from now as we ramp server capacity, but we do have a lot of businesses that wanna run very large campaigns on our servers. And so for that reason, oftentimes we have more people who are trying to run campaigns than we have servers currently accessible. Um, so we're constantly ramping up server capacity and bringing more servers on board but sometimes there can be a multiple day delay for that. Uh, but we're actively taking a look at how much demand we have and trying to make sure server capacity fully meets that. So if you are running into this issue, it could just be because there's a lot of demand and you could do these action steps I'm about to give you and it still doesn't work for you. So I want to set that expectation. But here are some other reasons why it might not be spending. And you definitely want to still take these actions um, because, again, you know, it could be that you are able to spend right now. You are able to launch a campaign and scale it, but there's one of these three things that are off. And so for that reason, uh, you're having some issues. Now, firstly, very first thing is check and make sure the campaign is on. I know that sounds like a super simple thing, but I have noticed issues in the past where people are inside of the air platform and maybe they thought they turned it on, but they didn't, or they turn it on. And for some reason uh, it toggled itself off or whatever it might be, whatever issue they run into. But just very first thing you want to do is go to the campaign you're trying to spin on and just go to the toggle and make sure that it's on. It should be blue. The uh, white dot should be on the right side and signal that the campaign is on. And obviously if it's gray, it's off. So firstly, just make sure the campaign is on so that it can start spinning. The second thing is if the campaign is outbound. So if you're in an inbound campaign, this one is applicable to you. But if the campaign type is outbound, then you're going to want to make sure that there is a list attached to the outbound campaign. Because if there's not a list attached, then there's no one for air to call. And then once you see that the list attached to the campaign is actually attached to the campaign, you're going to want to go into contacts, go to lists, make sure that the list that your campaign is attached to actually has contacts currently inside of the list. I noticed before that some people have issues uh, with uploading contacts, maybe the fields are off, whatever it is, and they thought they uploaded a bunch of contacts, but in reality, the list didn't have any contacts in it. And so although air is trying to spend, obviously, it's not able to reach out and call anyone if it doesn't have what we want to call. So you definitely want to make sure that the campaign has a list attached to it and that the list has leads inside of it. And the one other small note here is make sure that the list has enough leads to support the budget. Another issue I've seen before is maybe someone uploads 50 leads and they set a $10,000 budget for the day. And obviously we're not going to be able to get $10,000 worth of talk time for you off of 10 leads. So you also want to make sure that you have enough leads inside of the list to actually have the budget spend throughout the day um, because if there's a very small amount of leads and a very big budget then obviously it's not able to fulfill uh, on that that uh, large of a budget and then the third thing that we're going to do to diagnose why our campaign might not be spending or is currently going silent is we're going to check and see if the agent that is attached to the campaign that we're trying to get to spend 
has any variables that air does not support. All right now, I want to preface this before I even break down exactly how to what I kind of mean by this. I want to preface it by saying this is super unideal. That I even need to teach and you need to be mindful of. And I want to know that the team is actively working as we speak on a solution for you to never have to worry about this step ever again. So that should be pushed here in the next few days. But in the meantime, I do want to break this down so that you can potentially remove this constraint if it is the reason that your agent is currently uh, not dialing and it's currently not working for your campaign. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go into the agent that our campaign is attached to and make sure there's no variables that are variables air doesn't support. And there's only three variables that air supports right now. We have a knowledge base variable. And by the way, what I mean by variable is something inside your agent that has these little curly brackets um, uh, on the sides of them. So we support knowledge base, we support prospect name, and we support calendar availabilities. And one of the number one reasons I've seen that campaigns aren't spending when people are trying to get them to spend is because of the fact that they have a variable inside of their air agent that is not one of these three. So what I mean by this, how can you actually check it? I'll go and break it down. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go and go to your campaign tab and look at uh, the campaign that you're trying to launch. So let's say it's this one right here. And you're going to look at what the list uh, or sorry, what the agent is that is attached to the campaign. So let's say it's this scale 13 agent right here. I'm then going to go to create. I'm going to find the agent that's attached to the campaign. So go ahead and click scale 13. All right. Now I'm in this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find throughout uh, my framework and my script here. I'm going to look for everywhere that there's a variable. And what I found the easiest way to do that is I just click Command F on my Mac and I just search this little squiggly thing right here and it will show me all of the variables that I have. So for example, I have this one right here. There's only one variable in this entire uh, script. And I will just look at this and make sure that this variable is something the air supports. It needs to be one of these three. And obviously you notice here that prospect name, just like this within the variable, that is something the air supports. So this agent shouldn't have any issues. But what I've seen before is that sometimes people have a variable the air doesn't support. So they might have like contact info, right? And so because this is a variable the air doesn't support, your agent just basically won't work and it won't be able to uh, make calls or spend on a campaign uh, and it will just go silent. And so this is a reason why sometimes that happens. And another really important thing as well is make sure you don't just have a variable that air supports, but also that it is typed exactly how uh, we've basically given it to you to type. So you notice that this is prospect name, capital N. That's how we have it typed right here. You're gonna want it to be typed the exact same way. And so another reason it might not work is if you have, for example, lowercase n, uh, that won't work. Or if you have maybe a space in between prospect name, that also won't work. Maybe a dash in between prospect name, that won't work. So you wanna make sure that it is typed exactly like this. And if it is typed exactly like this and it's a variable we support, then you shouldn't have any issues. But if it is currently typed differently, then what you can do is just edit it, make sure it's typed correctly, click save down here, and then your campaign should be good now to actually talk and start spending. That uh, could be one of the reasons why it's currently not working. So take a look at these three variables right now and definitely take a look at your agent, make sure there's no uh, variables in there that we don't support and that it's typed perfectly. For example, knowledge base, make sure there's a capital B, counter availabilities, make sure it's spelled correctly, capital A, um, and this needs to be correct. Now, again, this is not ideal. I don't think as a user, you should have to even be thinking about this. So the team is actually working on pushing something right now that will completely take this off your mind and never have to, to worry about it. Uh, but that said, this could be something here over the next few days. That is a reason your agent uh, isn't currently working. Now, if it is not one of these three reasons, so you've gone through these three steps right here, you check the campaign's on, uh, you have a list attached to it. There's leads inside that list. There's enough leads to support the budget and the variables are correct. If it's not one of those three reasons, then just let support know. And if you let support know and you tell them you took the three steps, then they will look into it further and figure out if there's any other reason why the campaign is currently not spending and see if they can diagnose it for you on the back end. And then most likely, again, it is probably because of an excess amount of the platform. And although we want everyone to be able to spend as much as they want on the air platform, make as many calls as they want, push as much volume as they want, obviously we are in very early beta mode and we have an insane amount of demand and it is a ton of people that are looking to run really, really large campaigns. And so for that reason, oftentimes we don't have the server capacity to meet that demand. So obviously you know, every time we see uh, uh, excess amount of demand coming in, we ramp servers to meet that demand, but sometimes it can take a few days. So if you are watching this, uh, it could just mean that, you know, you're a few days away from being able to run large volume campaigns. And also one final note here 
is if you do want some form of priority capacity where you don't have to worry about there being uh, an excess amount of demand or there not being enough server capacity, then just let support know. And we will tell you a little bit more about how you can become a business that has priority capacity on air. It does require that you would advance some spend. You have to spend that $10,000 up front. But there is a way for us to actually get dedicated server capacity just for you so that you know no matter what, your campaign will always spend and it will meet the amount of demand that you need. So that said, uh, hopefully this gives you some context on some of the reasons your campaign might not be spending or is currently going silent. And again, if you do all of this stuff, it could just be there's too much demand. And we promise you we are working super hard to meet the amount of demand we have because we want you to be able to absolutely crush with air. All right, guys. So, okay, that's pretty much it. I wanted, to, I wanted right. you guys to so watch this that video. And basically, um, so one thing I'm going to do, guys, is I haven't set up a custom server with them yet, but I'm looking at one. Now, if you guys want exclu exclusively a custom server for everyone who basically is watching the really great channel, which is people who basically, you know, you guys sign up for AI or you want to use AI, I'm working on a deal. I've, I've, I'm communicating with AI to find out if there's a way in which we exclusively, every all the subscribers and everyone who's part of the team here, it includes you watching this right now where we can get an exclusive deal where basically I'll get the servers and we can use our own personal servers. And this way we don't have to um, rely on basically sharing the servers with thousands of other people. We could just get our exclusive one. Now, if that's something you're interested in, guys, like I said, I, I'm not going to do it unless I have enough people, at least unless I have about 150 to 200 people who are like, hey, you know what? I want to do it. You know, I'm willing to do it. You know, we, we're going to go ahead and, and, and band together as a team and get our own custom server set up. Now, if that is something that you guys are willing to wanting to do, what I'm going to do now, I have never done this on a live before. I'm actually going to leave you guys my um, you can you can send me an Instagram. You can actually you can DM me by going to let me go ahead and put this up here so you guys have it here. Uh, you can you can send me you can reach out to me at email at horizonsresults.com. You can if you want to email, you can send me a DM on on Instagram. Just go to at the really great or you can go ahead and send a text message to 754-262-4523. And basically, this is a number. And go ahead and send a basically send a message saying, I'm in. I want to join the 150. And if you guys want to join the 150, if I have 150 people that tell me they're interested, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to AAI, front the cost, and we'll go ahead and obviously um, break it on to you guys on a uh, on another live, we'll probably do a Zoom call. But I'm only going to do it if I have 150 people to sign up for it. If I don't have 150 people that is on it, I'm not going to do it, guys. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, live's going to be short, but we're going to have a longer show for you guys next week. Uh, but we're just going to do the 15-minute lives for now. And it's a pleasure having everyone here join. If you are, if that is something that you are interested in, send me the DM. Like I said, guys, I want to make sure. Leave in the comments. Say, I'm interested. I'm down. I want you guys to leave in the comments. I'm interested. I'm down. And then also, I want you guys to either email me, Instagram me, DM me, or um, text them numbers. Text, you know, uh, let's, let's see. How would I, how would I do this? Uh, text. I mean, let's put this here. Text, I'm interested. Text, I'm in. 754-262-4523. Okay, so text that number 754. Text that mean to 754-262-4523. Let me know that's something you guys are in. Let me know you guys are down and leave in the comment section. Comment below. I'm in. I want to see it. All right. I need at least on this video. Let's get to make this video get at least 10,000 views. And let's make this video. I want to see at least 100 comments. And let's get 150 people sign up to say, you know, I mean, and we're going to go ahead and set up that custom servers. And I'm going to go ahead and obviously, you know, once that's done, bring it back to you guys live. And we're going to start taking everybody in. OK, so that's pretty much what I have for you guys. And it's a pleasure having everyone on. As always, as I like to say, enjoy. And I'll see you guys on.